Hello everyone. So, if statements in Scala are going to be much like the if statements in other languages, the, the typical block will contain an if, some else ifs, and finally an else block in order to check different conditions, perform separate operations um, in each um, in each condition, and in case that the uh, the value that's being checked checked through those conditions doesn't meet any of the other conditions we'll finally use the else block to uh, perform a default operation. So let's check to see if our value age is that of a teenager, someone older than a teenager, or someone younger using uh, younger than a teenager using some if statements um, to kind of get the idea. If you don't understand what I mean by a conditional, don't worry. I'll explain all of that as we go. Um, we could actually use the code from the last video as well. If you watched that, we're just going to make our, our variable teenager or, or variable age uh, val um, equal to an integer of 18. So the syntax is pretty simple. We're going to start off by just saying if and then in parentheses um, some sort of check on age. So here we're going to do if age is greater than um, 19. So this means everything above 19, not including 19. So 20, uh, 21, things like that, but eight, 19 is not going to be included in that group. Um, so for instance, if age was 20, it would register this as true. Uh, because age is 18, it won't register as true, it'll register it as false, and it will skip this, but um, we're still going to write some code in here. So you're want, going to want to do a left and right curly brace and then between those actually put your code. Um, this is all up to you on your own, kind of a stylistic thing. You don't actually have to put these uh, curly braces there for our use and I'll show you what I mean um, after we're, we're done with this and show an example without the, the curly braces. So in here we're just going to say print ln, print line, and just say you are um, older than a teenager. And so after that, we can move on to our next statement. And at the end of this curly brace, we're going to do a space and say else if, um, again, the parentheses to group together our uh, conditional, and say uh, age is less than 20, less than 20, which includes 19, 18, uh, things like that. And then we're going to say ampersand ampersand, which is read as and, just the word and, space, and then age is greater than 12. So what this will do is say, um, if the, the value of age is greater than 19, say you are older than a teenager. Because age is 18, it will skip this and go down to here and say, if 18, or the value of age, is less than 20, and the value of age is greater than 12, which in this case is true for both of those, um, then run the following code. So again, we're going to do our curly braces. And then here we're just going to say uh, print ln, you are a teenager. And then finally, if they're neither um, older than a teenager or a teenager, we can safely assume that they are younger than a teenager. So instead of checking for the value of age against some other number, we're just going to say else, and then our curly braces with our code, and in here say print ln, uh, you are younger than a teenager. So this is the vocabulary I used earlier. Uh, to kind of explain that. Everything inside of here is the conditional. So um, here, age is greater than 19 is our condition. Um, whether or not that is true is what says uh, run the code or not. Um, now in some situation that like maybe age um, is a number that makes it appropriate for multiple um, if statements, the first one is going to be used and the one below it is going to be skipped. So in this case, if we had another else if that said age is um, equal to 21, 
it would never be used because this would be the first one read. It would first see the conditional age is greater than 19 and skip the one that says age is equal to 21. So um, let's actually put that in and see what that would look like. So if we want to check if they're 21, we would say age is equal to 21 like this. Two equals signs because we're not making an assignment like this. We're actually comparing the values so you use two equal signs. Um, in this else if, you see we actually have two different conditionals and then we have a conditional um, logic operator here, the, the double ampersand, which says both of these are true. Um, so if age is less than 20 and the age is greater than 12, this will overall be true and true. So our conditional inside of these parentheses will return to itself. If it's less than 20, or if it's greater than 20, um, it'll still be greater than 12, but it will be, um, it'll be greater than 20, so this will return false, meaning it'll say false and true, which will be false. The, uh, the else statement doesn't check for anything, so if either of these, co these code blocks are used, the else statement will be skipped. However, if neither one of these are used, um, for instance, the age is like five, um, this code will be used. And so let's switch this back to ages um, greater than 19 and run the code to see what it does. All right, so we see here that it says you are a teenager. So that means, first off, our program worked appropriately, and second off, it demonstrates how uh, these if statements are used. So it takes the value 18, so we can actually replace age with 18 in all these cases and still have our code work, um, which is how functional programming should be anyways. Um, and it says 18 is greater than 19. Well, that's wrong. It's not true. So false. It skips it. Goes down to the second one. Says 18 is less than 20. Well, that's true. And 18 is greater than 12, and that's true. So overall, this is true. So you must be a teenager. Um, and then this one is skipped because we had used this else statement or this else if statement. Um, keep in mind you can have multiple else if statements, so we can have like three or four of these by simply just going into the next block and saying like um, age is equal to a hundred or something and then we can go down below and add another one or even just add an else statement to the end. Um, it's completely up to you how you actually want to do that. You can have as many of them as you want. I don't want you to think that there's a fixed amount of uh, if statements here. But that is essentially all you need to know about them. Um, once we get into functions, I'll explain how the how they return values. Um, one more thing before we leave. These curly braces are actually optional, so we can get rid of these, these curly braces as long as we only have um, one statement below. So because um, we're only doing a print line beneath each each of these, um, we can get rid of these curly braces and still be fine. And even keep them in other ones. It's, it's completely up to you how you style it that way, but our code will still be correct even if we don't have those curly braces. I like them because they format things better for me, but again, completely style. Um, based, you don't have to use them if you don't want to, unless you're doing like ten lines of code below it. You you have to, um, but just for a one line thing like this, you uh, do not need curly braces. And in fact, you can actually put it on the same line with the uh, conditional. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Sorry this video took so long, um, or lasted so long. If you like the video, please uh, press the like button below. Um, subscribe if you want to see future videos. Share the video if you want to really help me out. It helps get the videos out there. Gets more views. Great stuff. Um, and uh, maybe I'll see you next time. Thank you.